Welcome to the Kingdom Hearts the Games tier list. I'm really happy I finally played through Kingdom Hearts Remind. That's what I've been waiting for. I played through it. And you'll see what I feel about it. But here are all the all the Kingdom Hearts games that I remember, <laughs> honestly, and know of. So yeah, let's let's just start with the first one. Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Not not the original, just the final mix. <laughs> it's an A tier. Not my favorite of this game franchise, but it's a really strong start. It's really good. I love the story. And after actually being able to complete it on the easy mode. <laughs> it's it's really good, you know. The whole story generally, the gameplay is really good, but the story is what pulls it up. It's, it's good, even though I was very confused by why Riku got possessed, but it, it clears up, it clears up as you, as you go. Next game is the, the Black Sheep of the franchise. Read Chain of Memories, or Chain of Memories, as you will. The DS game, and... Whew, um, it's a D tier. <laughs> it wouldn't be F tier if that was on here, but... Um, it's a D tier, anyway, because the story is interesting. It takes place between Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. But the gameplay, oh my god, the cards, the cards, it hor it's horrible. <laughs> I hate it. It's, it's probably better on the DS, on the original DS, but on PlayStation, it sucks, okay? It, it really sucks. And the, the fights are so hard because you have to think about the cards all the time. It drags the game really a lot down, okay? But the story, really interesting with Sora, Donald and Goofy, and even Jimny are losing their memories. And Sora getting this, these new memories of a girl called Navane, which is it's really interesting. I really like that. And the ending where he chooses to spoil it. This video is full of spo spoilers, by the way. When Sora decides to get his old memories back and have to forget uh, about Navine ever meeting her. It sucks. And it's not that he hates her or anything. It's Sora. He, he finds the good in everyone. So he's like, I will thank you. And we will meet again and we will be friends. I promise you. And it's a strong, a strong ending right there. And the Riku part is, uh, I don't remember much of it. I haven't played through the game. I just watched the cutscenes because I couldn't stand <laughs> the gameplay. <laughs> but it, yeah, the Riku part is really good too. What happens to him after he's uh, trapped in the realm of darkness with Mickey. And how he ended up in Castle Oblivion. Sorry about that. I got it. I got some visitors. Okay, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's an interesting game, interesting concept story, but the gameplay drags it a lot down. It it's it sucks. <laughs> Let's uh, jump over to the next game. 258/2 days. And oh my god, I could not play the game because it's not it's not a remade. Only the cutscenes are remade, but not the gameplay. So I can't say anything about the gameplay, but I think it's similar to Kingdom Hearts 1. And this game? Wow, I freaking love the story. It's an S tier. It's amazing. Getting to know who Rox is. His friendships with uh, Axel and uh, eventually Xion. Their whole story together, evolving, him trying to find out who he is, why he can't remember who he was. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, my mind gets completely blank because it's so good. I try to relive what I experienced while I, while I watched those cutscenes and it was incredible. I watched it all in one go. It was so really enjoying to watch. Oh, I loved it! 
Roxas, everyone know. Basically, I guess ninety-five percent of people <laughs> love Roxas. <laughs> So it's no shocker that I love Roxas, I love Axel, I like Xion. Xion isn't that big of a character for me, we don't know her that well. But I hope that changes in the future. But, oh, it's so heartbreaking in the ending, oh, it's so good! What happens to Xion that she chooses to not exist anymore, Roxas basically killing her. And then getting trapped, trapped himself by Diz, as in the wise, basically, and Riku. Riku, who changes into the form of Ansem. And it's so wow. It's wow, wow. <laughs> it's a really good. Oh, it's so, oh, it's so good. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah. And uh, where King Kingdom Hearts uh, 250. 58 slash 2 days ends, it starts with it starts right on with Kingdom Hearts 2 which is just above it in S tier Kingdom Hearts 2 is the golden egg the golden child, the golden heart, I don't know it's the best, it's such oh, it's such a good game, it's my favorite game in this franchise oh, it's so good, you play as Roxas in the beginning and for me, not the first time I played Kingdom Hearts 2, I was so confused, because I started right on that instead of going through the other two games after Kingdom Hearts, which I didn't finish even, so I did not understand what was happening. Why am I playing as Roxas? Who is Roxas? Where's Sora? Why is he suddenly grown up? <laughs> yeah, Sora ends up falling asleep in Chain of Memories, and... He after a year, he wakes up because he finally got his memories back from uh, Roxas and Xion, which is why Xion do not exist anymore. No one remembers her because she returned uh, to Sora with his memories. It's such a good start. And that's just the first hour or so. 20, to, uh, 20 minutes to an hour. That's <laughs> the game. And then the rest is, uh, is Sora trying to figure out uh, what's happening. Why... Are every why why is every nobody calling him for Roxas? Hey Roxas, you traitor! Who is Roxas? He gets so confused and annoyed at the organization thirteen, and it's so funny. <laughs> and the story is just mwah. It's so good! Oh my god, the, the heartless in the canyon just surrounding you, and you have to just fight and fight and fight. Goof is almost death. And, oh, the worlds, you can be a lion in Lion King. <laughs> I, I love animals, okay? I love, I love games where you can play as animals. And, oh, I love that world. You, you get to know Mulan and fight all those heartless uh, in that avalanche. It's so cool. And then the ending with uh, Sora finally meeting Roxas. Their fight, it's completely silent. Except for this small sound in the background. It's such a good fight. It's like, yeah, I don't want to fight Roxas. I know this is Roxas, but... Oh, you have to. And it's so... I don't know, it's not satisfying. It's not empty. It's, it's something out there. After that, and it's so... It's sad. And Roxas, after he gets defeated by Sora, he's like... Okay, you won. I understand now. I accept that I am your nobody. I'm not me anymore, or... He is me. I'm me, but I'm you. It's really it's really weird with nobodies and stuff, but it's really good. That's my take, at least, on it. And, oh. And then, oh! And then Sora's reunion with Kairi and Riku. Oh my god! Oh, it broke me when it, when Sora finally meets Kairi and she's standing next to Riku, who looks like Ansem, which Sora defeated in the first game. And it's kind of like, if you see it uh, without knowing Sora, they're enemies. But not really. <laughs> they're, he's just an obstacle, kind of. And Sora is like, hey, Ansem, thank you for 
keeping Kyrie safe. I don't know why you did that, but thank you. And <laughs> Riku is just trying to go away, but Kyrie is like, Riku, get back here! <laughs> you do not walk away. <laughs> so that's when Sora is like, Riku runs up to him, sees just Anthem's face, but he is collapsing, crying. He's so happy that Riku is safe. He thought he was still in the realm of darkness. He didn't know what happened. And it's so beautiful, that reunion. He completely accepts that this is how Riku looks like now. And then he doesn't... Uh, and then Riku turns into himself again, and they have to fight Semnes a couple of times, the head of the Organization 13. It's, it's a brilliant game. It's amazing. I love it. Let's go to the next game, shall we? <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about Kingdom Hearts 2 this whole time. Okay, the next game, on my list at least, is Birth of Sleep. And oh my god. It's also S tier, right behind the uh, 258 slash uh, 2 days. Oh! That game, I loved it. I fell in love with Ventus, Terra, and Aqua. I didn't really like Terra in, in the beginning. I started, I started game playing as Ventus. Yeah, there I played as Ventus on the left, on the right, I'm sorry, I, I don't know the, the difference. On the right here, Ventus, you play, I played the same in the beginning, and I was so confused, why the hell is he <laughs> identical to Roxas? I love Roxas, why? So yeah, I chose to play as Ventus in the beginning, and uh, I followed his story, it was really good, I really liked this, he's kind of, he's a little like Sora, but... He is his own character, but I can see their traits there, right? And his whole whole thing is like, I need to get after, I need to follow Terra. Where is Terra going? He he needs me. He's my brother, right? So he follows Terra, and some things happen, and he is like, wow. I suppose I'm just looking for friends, I guess. Then yeah, he he meets Lee, which is Axel, and Isa, which is the blue-haired dude, <laughs> Axel's friend. And yeah, and then I played as Aqua, the blue her the blue-haired girl. Um, let me show you. And I played as Aqua. Oh, she's so beautiful. <laughs> I just I freaking love her. <laughs> I played as Aqua next, so I understood her point of view. Like oh. Okay, she, she wasn't after Terra, he, she was following because of orders, but at the same time, she's... <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's going too fast for me here. She's following to... Get to getting to know why, why is he doing all this dark stuff? Why is he suddenly going dark side at, at the same time as he's not? He seems like himself. She's confused and she wants to know and she she gets to know and her ending is just so sad. The same with Ventus, but we takes that later. And then there's Terra. I really didn't want to play as him. <laughs> I didn't like him. <laughs> I didn't care for him, but I did play play as him and I finally understood him. I understood his motives. I understood he's completely manipulated. He didn't want any of this to happen. He didn't want to strike Ericus down. But he was so manipulated by Xehanort. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm I'm so distracted by that comic at the bottom there. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um. <laughs> and his ending... And he ended with Terra turning into Xehanort. Heartbreaking. And Ventus... Going back into uh, going into a coma because he is uh, he decided to well destroy his own heart along with uh, Venetus's right and um, Venetus Venetus which actually looks like Sora which makes sense <laughs> but you know so. Ventus' heart goes back into Sora without him really knowing because Sora was like six at the time, six, 
five, six years old. So yeah, yeah birth by sleep is, was incredible, and Aqua being trapped in the realm of darkness. All of this happening for ten years. For ten years, just imagine. For ten years, <laughs> Ventus is in a coma, hidden away. No one knows where he is except for Aqua, which is trapped in the realm of darkness after uh, trying to get Terra back, which is possessed by Xehanort. <laughs> So, wow! <laughs> it's horrible! I love the story, but oh my god, it's so horrible for them. And they were just be beaten down again and again and again. And that's how those games end. And never on Recoded, which I re didn't really care for. Let's put it at C tier. <laughs> I tried, and then I was... It took a little while, I... Did some research and it was just cutscenes, um, like um, <laughs> like uh, two hundred fifty eight slash two days. The Roxa story, um, and this one is just in the datescape, and I was like, oh my god, this is just, this is the same as Chain of Memories, <laughs> really. Oh, I found it really hard to watch, so I stopped watching, and then I was, then I searched for. There does it get it relevant to the story, and not just a repeat of what happened in Kingdom Hearts of One and <laughs> Chain of Memories. So I watched the last parts there, and I understood the story. Kind of, I don't remember anything really, except for there are bugs in the datascape. You play as a baby Sora, basically from Kingdom Hearts to One, even though he's not. It's it's complicated, and and I don't remember really. It's, you know what, it's it's in D tier 2, because I, I didn't like it. And then we're going to the next couple of games. Dream Do Drop Distance. Oh my god, it was a good game. I did not expect it. It's uh, over Kingdom Hearts, the original of there. In A tier, it's not an S tier, but it was really good. Especially me being used to the mechanics by Birth by Sleep. Dream of Distance was really good. I liked it. going to the Hunchback of Notre Dame's world, playing as a Sora and Riku, both of them. They're being asleep. No, no, I'm sorry, that's, that's wrong. They're in sleeping realms. That's why we get to, get to visit, visit Quasimodo from the Hunchback of Notre Dame, or... Not not Cinderella. That's that's Birth of Sleep. Um, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Different uh, kinds of worlds, like the Three Musketeers, which is funny, because Sora is like he is not that bright. <laughs> so he is like meeting Donald and Goofy and Mickey, and he is like, "Oh, guys, wait for me!" And they're like, "What are you?" <laughs> oh, uh, I'm Sora. Are you okay? <laughs> it's it's really funny. It's good, and we meet um, all kinds of different characters, like Neku and Joshua. Those are the other ones I know and remember. I, I do want to meet them again, though. It was a good game. I really liked it. And the plot twist that Sora was, was actually asleep the whole time, and that Riku is his dream eater, try, um, trying to um, keep Sora safe while he was asleep, just going down and down into the darkness in his sleep. Because organization, the true organization 13, by the way, wanted to, they were, they were being made at this point. They wanted Sora, because he's a Keyblade wielder, as I understood it. They wanted him to be a vessel for, for one of the many Xehanorts <laughs> that Xehanort wanted to spread out. It's so, it's so much. <laughs> he was going to be a vessel, basically, for, for one Xehanort. Because there are like 12 of them now. <laughs> and and then uh, Riku having to, oh, sorry, having to save him. And then Mickey comes along because they're back in the wa waking world so we can find them. So they save uh, Sora, but the, now they know that the true organization 13, that's their name, they know that they're out there. They are uh, getting vessels, um, I think. 12 or 13, 13 vessels for Saiyanord on top there to put to 
put himself in them. <laughs> As I understood it, it's really complicated. <laughs> it was really fun. Um, the game, basically, it was really fun. Playing as uh, as both Sora and Riku in kind of like a time limit. Very good game. Let's go back to Birth by Sleep, a fragment... something. I really liked it! It's also A tier. Let me just... Um, uh, birth by Sleep, 0 0.2. A fragmentary passage, that's the thing. Okay. And here you play as just Aqua. And again, I love Aqua. I think she's a good character. I really like her, and it was interesting to see her in the Realm of Darkness, going through Cinderella's world again, going through Sleeping, Be Sleeping Beauty, yeah, kind of. The, the roles you visited, basically, in the first Kingdom Hearts. Uh, in the first Birth by Sleep uh, game, with the first with the princess worlds, and um, basically it's oh oh my god, my head starts to hurt with all this thinking. <laughs> but I really liked it. Uh, basically, you start as uh, Aqua, fully leveled, basically having all kinds of abilities. She's really strong, so it's not a drag to get through the worlds. It's not long, even maybe so, like four or five hours, as I understood it. As I remember, I mean. And it's really interesting where at the end there, you're starting to get dragged into the dark abyss, which is a foreshadowing to what happens. And she's trapped there, and then suddenly Mickey decides to show up out of the blue and drags her out of the darkness because, because of her Wayfinder, which is these things she made her and her friends. Um, it these stuff and they're really cool the blue one is obviously for aqua the green one is Ventus and the orange one is Terra so they they each have um, those wayfinders which helps them find their way to the light basically it's one way of seeing them so she made them and it 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 showed Mickey the way to find her so he drags her up and she, at this point, doesn't know that she's been in the realm of darkness for 10 years. So she, so Mickey is like, yeah, let's, let's get you out of here. We have this whole plan. We're going to close Kingdom Hearts. And yeah, we just, we need to hurry before Riku shows up because he will need our help. So they are running. And then there are a bunch of heart, there's this heartless tornado coming down on them. And Aqua decides that... She's gonna stay and fight because Mickey needs to get to Riku. So she she fights this tornado and gets swept up by them. She does it, break free from them and defeat them and stuff, but Mickey is now trapped with um, Riku. They close the door, so there is no way out, basically. And Aqua is now trapped alone in the darkness, in the dark abyss, by the way, in the realm of darkness. And she's just floating there now, waiting for someone to find her light again. And that's how that game ends. If there's not a hidden secret there, it's okay. Union X in cover. Let's um, cover um, Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, it's this. This is another one with just cutscenes. It was a little bit of a drag in the beginning, but it was really good. It's actually B tier. And wow, I really enjoyed the story. And getting to know how the Keyblade War began. And oh my god, the Master Sword Master is so funny. The Master Masters, I mean. He is basically Deadpool, just PG. <laughs> He's so funny. He's always joking around. He doesn't take things that seriously, but at the same time, he's he, it's serious. And oh, it's so it's so funny to just watch him, and just watching him talk, listen to him talk. It's so like incredibly cute, cute, funny. <laughs> 
I did really enjoy them and the characters in the in the um cutscenes in the game. They were really good. I love their animal masks, like this guy with a unicorn head, there is one guy with a bear head, which is like basically he is gonna be his right hand man, but he decides that you suck as a leader. I want to be a leader. Why can I be leader? So he wants to throw him down because they are all paranoid because there is a traitor among them, but no one knows who, and I still don't know who. Maybe it was Lushu, which is spoiler alert. It's Sigbar, who who is a nobody in the organization thirteen and the true organization thirteen. And wow, a lot happens in the series, and it was great. I like. I like the story, but I'm glad I didn't really play it, because I think it's the mobile game that doesn't exist anymore. It disappeared a couple of months ago. And now we're on Kingdom Hearts 3. And that one, ooh. This one is hard. Um. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts 3 and Remind, it's in one here, but I'm going to talk about them separately. I think it's actually... at the top of A tier. Just about Dream Drop Distance, but I don't like it better than Birth by Sleep. That's what I think, at least. I'm, I'm not sure. Because it's the game I... <laughs> Literally, I've... right before this recording, I did play that game completely. I'm done with it now. I think I, I didn't play through the Limits episode because it's just the fight to all of the Data Organization 13 peeps. And I, I don't like hard fights. That's why I play in easy mode. <laughs> I like to enjoy the story, not hard combat which is why uh, all these games here i played on easy mode because the first time i played kingdom hearts 1 i could not get through the first stage of the battle against anson and that that ruined the game for me really i could not get past it it was too hard the same with you know, final fantasy 7 uh, uh, remake it was the same thing there i I really love that game. It's really good. I can't get get through uh, the part with Tifa, Tifa's fight, and um, this this bigger guy. I don't remember his name. It's the cat guy. <laughs> that that part is so hard. I can't get through, and I love that game. It's so funny. But we're not here to talk about Final Fantasy. We're talking about Kingdom Hearts, and now Kingdom Hearts Three. I really like the story. It picks up right after Dream Drop Distance, uh, with uh, Sora, um, Riku have passed his um, Mark of Mastery exam, which is why, which is Dream Drop Distance, by the way. It's the exam. I forgot to mention that. And since Riku saved the Sora in Sora's life, he received his Mark of Mastery and his power of awakening. But Sora, since he fell into the dark, into the dark sleep. He lost his powers, he lost his magical abilities, he lost everything, he's weaker now. And he struggles with that, really, through the game. He's having a hard time being teased relentlessly by Donald and it, and the villains, like, Hey, you're scrawnier than before! You're, you're that weak? And he really gets to his head. And at the end, oh, I love it! At the end... Near the end of the game, the Kingdom Hearts 3 game, where everyone is at the Keyblade graveyard, and everyone is literally dying in front of him. Um, this is where um, Ventus is being... Th uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. Ventus is being um, pushed back uh, unconscious by um, Xehanort to Terra. And because he thought that was Terra, but it wasn't Terra, it was uh, Xehanort in Terra's body from birth asleep so he is unconscious and then um and then uh, um sora he is trying to save someone i don't remember if if it's riku 
I think it's Riku or no, it's Kyrie. It's Kyrie. It's always Kyrie. Her, hello. He's a uh, walking. He's running in front of Kyrie, hugging her before she can get be struck down by one of the Xehanorts. So, <laughs> so Donald he sees that Mickey, Donald, and Goofy, all three of them, he then see them. They see it, and Donald he is a magician. So he runs up, and he just oh wait wait I'm I'm jumping ahead. Of me ahead of myself here now. Goofy pushes his shield in front of Sora and Kyrie so they won't get hit. And before um, one of the Xehanors, I don't remember who it is, if it's Semnes, Ansem, or Xehanor, young Xehanor, whoever it is. Venetus, for all I know. Donald decides to use his his magic his magical attack, a set of flare, I think it's called. And uses that, and that uh, b <laughs> practically obliterates their enemy right then and there. But he collapses onto the ground, basically dies, as far as I know. It it was too much for him, so he... he let's just say, Donald dies! And when that happens, um, Goofy and Mickey are right by Donald's side, and just trying to keep him safe. Um, um, I think it's Axel and... Mm, I think it's Axel and uh, Aqua who is uh, right by Ventus' side trying to wake him up. Oh my god, <laughs> it's so much happening there. And and while that happens, there is this tornado, the biggest tornado of all of Heartless, just p g crushing them down. It's It arrives and uh, Sora, Riku and uh, Aqua are the ones who are going to fight the Heartless while the rest of them try to take care of the wounded. And while they are there, they are ready. Aqua just freezes up. She can't fight and, ge and gets swept up by the darkness. Everyone basically gets swept up because they are just sitting there. They can't move. They are trying to protect their, their wounded ones. And then uh, Kyrie is taken away and everything and Sora is just screaming, crying, he loses his mind in there. It's really sad to look at. I love it. <laughs> I love misery. <laughs> and it's so good, and he manages to... Well, Riku and Sora, they die. Sora gets completed again, so he gets back before it happens and changes it. Terra in his avenging... Uh, um, knight shielding thingy armor it's called <laughs> it's called armor he jumps down <laughs> right in front of uh, Ventus and stuff and fights the Xehanort because he is pissed off by being uh, in this by being taken over his will is in his armor but his body is in his body with Xehanort and it's wow so he fights and fights and it's a big fight uh, going on now. Donald doesn't die. And he basically changed everything then and there, which we see in the reminder where, where he wakes up uh, Terra's heart and stuff. And it's, oh my God, it's so complicated. <laughs> and so then, <laughs> what am I even talking about? <laughs> basically, um, they are defeating all the members of the true organization, everyone, everyone in the group, basically, except for Donald, Goofy, and uh, Yen Sid. They are keeping uh, the Heartless at bay, while the rest of the Keyblade wielders, they are... They went through this labyrinth in the Keyblade graveyard to fight. So we... Oh, 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 this is what I have to talk about. Of course, of course. It's the... Um, Firstly, you can choose which one you you want to say first. So you go ahead and fight uh, with a uh, Riku uh, against uh, Mini Riku, <laughs> the replica from Chain of Memories, and um, and Ansem. And you are fighting against them, and um, Ansem he leaves, and. Um, uh, Mini Riku, <laughs> the replica Riku, he gets taken over by this, this other replica Riku, who was by Riku's side the whole game, 
it swoops in and takes him out of the replica. So the replica can be used for nominee, which is Kairis nobody, who, who came from Sora. <laughs> and she's the one from Chain of Memories, you know? Um, so they have a replica ready for her. So Sora gets going while Riku it chases after Ansem. And then he um, helps uh, Mickey against Semnes and a bunch of others. And it, I, I don't rem really remember there. But there are really good conversations in these in these fights. It's really good. I'll talk about it soon. But he fights with Mickey. Mickey chases after Semnes. And uh, Sora is continuing into the lab labyrinth. Um, helping the Wayfinders to, well, duo now. And um, uh, and the excellent Kyrie in the other end there. So when he goes to, to help... Um, uh, Aqua and Ventus against um, Terra Sandor and Venetus. Venetus is like, when he's defeated, he's like, I am darkness, I can't change you what I am. I am your darkness, you can choose who you want to be, Venetus. Uh, that, that's what, Ro uh, not Roxas, Ven Ventus say. <laughs> I'm, losing, I'm losing my breath here, rambling on. And, <laughs> and then, um, when the, um, these members are being taken care of, we, we basically kill them. They are nobodies, right? So they are disappearing. They are being recompleted. Most of them, at least. Venetus, he is just disappearing. I, I can't even recall. I just play the game and I don't recall what happens to Venetus. If he just disappears or he just leaves, I, I, I'm not sure. I wouldn't be surprised if he comes back in, in the future game. And um, who else is there? Yes, Terra Sanord. He is like, when he's finally defeated, he's, he's like, No, I'm not defeated, I'm stronger! So he pulls his chains out of thin air. And he traps uh, Ventus, Aqua, and Sora in their chains. And that's when Terra, Terra's armor again shows up. No, 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 not his armor, not his armor. Um, Sanord's shadow. It comes alive like a monster, like the monster to Ansem, and that's Tara. <laughs> so he is like, yeah, he rips these these thingies over his mouth, and he's like, I will make up for everything that happened. I will be there for them again. And, oh, and this happens right after, um, right after um, Ventus is saying that I kept my promise to you, Tara. Well, he cries and basically is unconscious. And that's what wakes Terra up. Just, just so you know, context. Remember, they're practically brothers. <laughs> Aqua and Terra basically adopted Ventus in Birth of Sleep. And so, um, and Sora opens uh, Sayonard's heart so that Terra and, and it pulls Terra's heart out of that shadow so that he can repossess himself. So, it's Terra again, and the reunion is so cute, it makes me cry, and it's so adorable seeing them just happy. Sora is, tells Terra that they heard, look after them while I help others, okay? Yeah, sure. Ventus is like, no, I want to come, because, hello, they're, they're practically the same person. But uh, he is being held, held uh, I guess, well, uh, basically, so he can be with his friends again. And so... Sora continues on, he meets, uh, he helps Axel and uh, Kyrie fight against someone, I don't remember who. <laughs> yes, against um, the blue-haired guy, Isa. That's his real name, at least, Isa, the blue-haired guy. Um, what's his name? Um, Blue-haired guy. Who is that? Um, Saix, that's the, that's the guy, and um, this guy here, that's Saix, but I'm just gonna call him Isa, because that's easier to say, and that's his real name. They're fighting against him in Berserk mode, and this, ooh, and this, um, this hooded figure here, this hooded figure, just ignore what I just, <laughs> ignore all the names around here, okay? And this hooded figure with Semnes there too. So Semnes he he leaves 
um, um, and Sora helps uh, Axel and Kyrie fight um, Isa, but um, Shion, she starts to remember when they are talking before the battle that um, he, she starts to remember that, whoa, Axel? Roxas? Because they, they are casually mentioning these names because one of them are there. And they were her best friends in the um, in the <laughs> 258 plus two days game. <laughs> so um, yeah, so she starts to remember. So before Semnes can kill Axel, because Sora and Kyrie is in the background, um, heard. Um, she stops Semnes from killing Axel because they were friends. She she just casually says, "We need him alive." Okay then, we just we just need his heart, not his soul. You can kill him," <laughs> says Samus in his really deep voice. And then she's, um, she is going to actually try because she is just a puppet. Basically, she she literally is a puppet. She's a replica. She she isn't really her own person until she becomes her own person, her own memories and stuff. And then Sora just casually walks in front because at this point he's uh, possessed by Ruxus, who lives in his heart because he sees nobody. And he's like, it's okay. You don't have to do this anymore, Xion. And that breaks Xion down. She finally remembers. And Axel is like, on the ground, he starts crying, just Xion? Because now he starts to remember because she is real. She is here. Her. And it's so sad. And that's when uh, Roxas just suddenly, poof, he comes down from the sky. Roxia, Roxas. <laughs> and he's, he just stands in front there. And he's so, oh, after this big battle where you fight, uh, where you can fight as either Roxas or Sora. I chose to fight as Roxas because why not? I got the, I could. So... <laughs> <laughs> How long is this video? Um, so after this whole fight, Sora leaves to save Kyrie because she was kidnapped. Shocker. And oh, it was so sad. A good kind of sad because oh, um, while they're standing there, just this trio, uh, Axel, Shion, and Roxas, they're just standing there. And Shion just starts crying her eyes out. She is really sad. And then Roxas is like uh, uh, running to her and is like, what do I do? And Axel is just in the background and like, yeah, I guess I should have brought some sea salt ice cream, huh? <laughs> and that's when he also starts crying and they all and they are hugging and it's so it's so innocent. Oh, it's such a good scene. It's it's beautiful. I need to stop talking about this ending. <laughs> so yeah, um, um, yeah, we're we're gonna fast forward a little bit. Um, um, uh, Sora, Mickey, and Riku they are and they defeat young Seonard, uh, um, Ansem, he's Seonard's heartless, and Semnes, Seonard's uh, nobody, and uh, then Seonard, the original Seonard, on top of this cliff because he is a coward. He struck a Kyrie down, so she's dead. <laughs> to form all these 13 keys, which forms the um, Keyblade with an X, the key. And he calls Kingdom Hearts to him. Um, Sora, Donald, and uh, Goofy, they are going after him while the rest of the Keyblade wielders try to close Kingdom Hearts again. And... They are. They managed to defeat Sam. Samnus. Um, he's already defeated th three times. Um, uh, Seonard. Uh, uh, Seonard uh, meets Ericus again, which died in birth by sleep, and they are like connecting again because they were best friends. And he turns into like this spirit, like uh, Ericus, and they are young again and just going into the sunset, all happy, <laughs> like nothing happened. And they're wanting to get back, but Kyrie is still dead, so Sora uh, decides to uh, use his new powers of awakening that he that he uh, um, got after saving Aqua from the realm of darkness. 
yeah, that's how she came back, uh, by the way. Um, so he, um, this is in Remind, he goes through all the battles again! <laughs> to, because he has to go through everyone's hearts again. By the Guardians of Light, at least. So he doesn't go into Donald and Goofy's hearts. But everyone else on the list is there. And that's... And he gets these fragments of Kyrie's heart. He resurrects her. And they are going around by this ending. By the credit scenes and stuff. Uh, to fix stuff. And then... When everyone is on Destiny Islands, which is where Sora, Riku, and Kyrie are from, everyone is there having some uh, beach fun, and then everyone sees that Kyrie and Sora are sitting on this um, starfruit tree. And they are holding hands, and then Sora, this is where the music kicks in, a really beautiful soundtrack, by the way. Sora is saying something to Kyrie, we don't, we don't know yet what it, what it says. But we see that uh, she is kind of like laughing, but then there's a tear, tear running down her cheek, and then Sora disappears. Because now he's basically dead because he used his powers of awakening to find someone else. That's not what it's meant to find. It. It's supposed to find worlds, I think. And that's how Kingdom Hearts 3 ends. Which is, it's a really good game, by the way. And then after that, it is Memories and Melody. Let's put it at the end of um, A tier, because it's not a standard uh, Kingdom Hearts game. It's a melody game. You play through the soundtracks, and it's just, it's, it's really fun. I didn't think it was a part of the story, even. But it's actually, from Kyrie's point of view, we go through all of her memories and Sora's memories to try to find out what happened to Sora. And it ends with her finding a nominee in the, in the sky, I, I, I guess, or... No, no, not nominee. Nominee is a person now. But this star shape, which is a heart, actually, and says that, yeah, I can help you find Sora, but um, since he helped me in another, in another time, so yeah, Riku is going to this other realm to find Sora, which is... Which we will see what happens in Kingdom Hearts 4. So yeah, that's uh, basically it. Um, I will say this has a, this is the last thing I will say today. <laughs> I'm just incredible at uh, talking. Yeah, yeah, you know, that that that's the word. But yeah, um, if you don't want, if if you don't want to play through all of these games by yourself or anything. Watch someone else play it, watch cutscenes on YouTube or something, because I do really recommend these games. They are really good, and a lot of them are in bundles, so they're not that expensive if you think that way. It's not 11 different games that all cost $70 if you think that way. It's basically three bundles and a couple of... Uh, games for themselves but yeah i do recommend this these games they're really good so um well yeah that's that's actually it i know how to use a lot of time but yeah thank you so much for watching if you liked the video please leave a like comment subscribe and i'll see you next time Bye bye